Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, uh, we are going to see about one of the interesting questions which I have received as part of our uh, uh, WhatsApp channel, and uh, one of our subscriber has asked. Uh, on how to prepare uh, non-functional requirements for the newly launched project. So that's a very interesting question. And uh, let me just, so that's a very interesting question I would say. And in fact, if you really want to ask ask your questions in our WhatsApp channel, I have an Excel sheet and I'm collecting all your questions, which are like mostly uh, frequently asked questions. So if you have any questions like that, please do add that your add your questions in the Excel sheet and I, I will answer you to you very, uh, very soon. And before we move on to this video, this is me, Yosan Shanmugam. I welcome you all to Little Sly YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, share the video with your friends, and add your comments and feedback in the comment section. So now coming to the answer for this. So the very first part of this is understanding the project scope and objective. So what is understanding the project scope and objective? So you have to clearly define the purpose and the goal of the project. And also you should identify the key stakeholders and their expectations. How will you do that? So for that, you'll have to conduct workshops or meetings with these stakeholders to discuss the project's purpose, its goals, and its expected outcomes. So by doing this, you can, un you can do get a very well understanding. And also you should use techniques such as brainstorming, uh, mind mapping, or SWOT analysis to explore various aspects of the project. And finally, after doing all these, you must document the key insights and decisions from these sessions to ensure clarity and alignment. So let me explain you with an example so you can understand it very well. So you have to uh, hold a kickoff meeting with the stakeholders to discuss the objectives of uh, of the new platform or the new e-commerce platform or your new application. And uh, also you should understand the goal that the business wants to increase the sales by 20% within the first year. So that's the example. So as I have told you, uh, you must understand the purpose, which is the project's purpose, their goals and their expected outcomes. So you must understand all these. And this is a clear example. So you must have a meeting with the stakeholders to discuss the objectives of the platform and the aim of increasing the sales by 20% within their first year. So this is the goal. So what is the entry criteria for this status, like for the first step? So you must identify who the stakeholders are and who are the project charters are, and what is the exit criteria, which is at which point do you think or do you understand that you have you are completed what you are intended to do in this step is you must have a clear understanding of your project goals and the scope must be documented in the project charter. So without this, you must not move to the second step, to the next step. And what is the output of this first step, which is understanding the project scope and objectives. So you must have your project charter, which is outlining the purpose, the objectives, the scope, and the high-level requirements. So that is going to be your first step. 